AI just went from, huh, that's interesting, to we're all going to die real quick. A few months ago, Ilya Sutsquer, co-founder of OpenAI and part-time Doomer, dropped a spicy little convocation speech at the University of Toronto that basically said, hey grads, congrats, now buckle up because AI is coming for your jobs, your relevance, and probably your sanity. AI will keep getting better, and the day will come when AI will do all of our, all the things that we can do. Not just some of them, but all of them. Anything which I can learn, anything which any, any one of you can learn, the AI could do as well. You may not be interested in AI, but AI is definitely interested in you. That was his vibe. And no, this wasn't your usual go out and change the world speech. It was more like go out and cope with the world because AI is about to flip the table on everything. The AI is coming, and it's not even trying to be polite. Ilya starts by acknowledging the obvious. We live in weird times. Except this time, it's not just political weird or economic weird. It's existential weird. As in, AI is learning to talk, code, and reason better than you. You've probably already seen it. Students using it to ace assignments, developers using it to refactor 100k line code bases, creatives using it to pump out Pixar quality shorts. You start wondering, what skills still matter? Answer is to be decided, but here's the kicker. What we've seen so far, that's just the opening act. The models right now are impressive, but still janky. They hallucinate, misfire, and sometimes confidently invent history. And yet, give it three years, five years, maybe ten, and these systems won't just automate your job, they'll be better at it than you've ever been. But wait, it gets more doomer. According to Ilya, anything you can learn, AI will be able to learn too. Why? Because you're just a squishy biological computer running on glucose and anxiety. So why wouldn't a digital one outperform you? And once that happens, here's the real spicy question. What do we even do with these systems? More research? More productivity? Scale the economy until the heat death of the universe? Maybe. Or maybe we get agents that run entire companies while humans get downgraded to meet supervisors. It's difficult to imagine, he says. Even I struggle with it. Same, Ilya, same. Okay, now let's hear from the guy who used to run Google, Eric Schmidt. Ex-Google CEO turned AI warlord adds some extra fuel to this blazing singularity bonfire. In his version, the shift is even more rapid. Within 12 months, most junior programmers replaced, math PhDs simulated, and code, it writes itself, probably better than you, with no coffee breaks. The key here, recursive self-improvement. It's not just coding anymore, it's AI improving AI while you refresh Hacker News and pretend to be productive, according to Schmidt. Within three to five years, we hit AGI, intelligence that rivals or exceeds the smartest human, and they're already prepping for it by importing literal power plants, because the U.S. apparently can't build anything fast anymore. So what happens when everything becomes an agent? Here's where it gets weirdly specific. Eric gives this example. I want to buy a house, so I tell an agent. It finds land, checks zoning laws, does the paperwork, hires the contractor, sues the contractor when they mess up, and builds the house. Totally normal. Just your standard AI-powered lawsuit machine. But his point? That's not just real estate. That's every business process, every government function, every system with rules and inputs and outputs automated. So yeah, it's not just coders who are screwed, it's everyone. Well, Ilya says, AI is the greatest challenge humanity has ever faced, but it's also the greatest opportunity. If we pay attention, if we engage, if we act now, because ignoring it, that's not an option. So in the words of both Sutzfer and Schmidt, you may not care about AI, but AI definitely cares about you. So what now? You can bury your head in the sand, keep typing your little functions and pretend this wave isn't coming. Or you can grab a front row seat to the collapse of normalcy and start learning how to ride it. Start experimenting, break stuff, build weirder things with smarter tools. And maybe, just maybe, you'll still be relevant when the machines stop asking questions and start giving orders. Smash that follow button, feed the algorithm, and I'll see you in the next one.